have to go. Then go! I want to ask you if you'll meet me in the barn tonight. For what? Why? There's... There's something I want to ask you. No, I won't. Not if you're going to go. But Mary... If you're going to go to war, then go. I don't care. I won't stop you. Please, meet me in the barn. I said go away! Go! And I think one of the things that was really important to me when I was thinking about casting was I wanted to cast as young as possible. It's a play about two teenagers and first love and so on. There wasn't anything there. Ah, uh, well, maybe tomorrow. Or the next day. You know how slow the mail is. There won't be any more letters. Sure there will. I just, I'll write you all the time. I just promise. The style of it is something that, that appeals to me very much and that it's not a naturalistic play. It's got a kind of a surreal, dreamlike quality to it, which I, I really enjoy. We've got lots of time. That's what you wanted to say to me? Something like that. Yes. Sorry, Charlie. I'm sorry I never came to see you in the barn. You did tonight. I'm sorry I never stopped you from going. You did tonight. Um, again, set against the background of war, so there's the horror that, of that that comes in as well. And I think audiences will, will find the play very, very touching. And... and then slowly he floated over onto his front. It's the worst thing I ever did. At no interval on this one, it runs around about an hour and a half, um, so straight through. I don't think I'd call this a First World War play as such, although it's set against the background of the war. Uh, really, it is a, it's a love story.